All right, welcome. I'm going to show you how to install Forge in Windows 11. I'm going to try and print uh, timestamps to every section here so you can know where to go for each bit. First off, let's open up the Forge GitHub here. You can get to the GitHub page. GitHub.com slash card dash forge slash forge is where the GitHub page is. Everything I'm going to go over today is in the wiki on the user guide. So if we go click on wiki and then click on the user guide, we have all the information I'm about to talk about. So first, let's go over the prerequisites. You do need Java and some way to extract the archive file that Forge is delivered in. So first, Java. Oracle recommends Java 8, and you can run Forge in Java 8. It's just fine. There is a way to run it with Java 8. We recommend you use the latest version of Java. I have Java 19 pre-installed on this machine. Forge will work fine with Java 11, and will work fine with Java 20 when it comes out. Next, we need some way to extract Forge from its archive format. I use 7-zip. You can use whatever you like as long as it can open up tar.bz2 files. I already have 7-zip pre-installed here. So Forge does come in a tar.bz2 file. That is basically two different files. That's the bz2 format, which is a zipping format. It's a compression and the tar format. Tar is what's called the tape archive format. It basically takes an entire directory and puts it into a single file because bz2 and GNU zip and stuff like that can only zip a single file. So we bring it into a single tar archive format and then zip that up. So on the wiki in the user guide, we do have links for the downloads we have a link for the snapshots and for the full release for the desktop and the Android version. Now, I recommend that if you are wanting to play Forge, you don't want to use the full release unless you have a reason to. The snapshots have a lot of bug fixes and the newer cards that the full releases just don't have. With the current rapid updating and new releases from Wizards of the Coast, new cards and new series. The snapshots are going to have all that stuff. The full releases are going to be way behind. Just because how quick it is, the snapshots are going to be where you want to go for, for all that kind of stuff. And using the full releases is not recommended anymore. So let's go to the snapshots. In here, you will see we do have the Android release or Android snapshot and the GUI desktop. So you want to get the Forge GUI desktop tar.bz2 file. I already have that downloaded, so we're just going to go ahead and go to our downloads. In here, we're going to open up the downloads folder. As we can see, we have it already downloaded. Before we try to extract it, what I like to do is create a destination for where we're going to basically install it. So I do like to do that in my user folder. So see users, Ostergrim, and I like to create a folder in here called magic. And inside there, I like to create another folder for Forge specifically. Now, the other thing is, if you're gonna have snapshots and then there's a release that you want to kind of have more of a stable release version, you don't want to install the snapshots over releases and you don't want to install the release over snapshots. So in here, it would also be good that you could create another folder specifically for the releases and versus the snapshots. But we're just going to keep this Forge folder here and we'll use that for our snapshots. So let's go back to our downloads folder and we can right click on this. And in Windows 11, we need to show more options. 7-zip, open archive. Now that we've got the archive opened, we do see the tar file that's been zipped and we can double click that. 7-zip will 
extract that from the, the zip and then we can read it. What I like to do here is click Control A to select all. You can also go up to here to edit and select all. And then you wanna click the extract button. By default, it wants to extract it to that downloads folder. We'll click on the browse button here and we can go back to our user folder, magic and forge. Click OK, and we can see that's where it's going to extract it to. We can click OK. Then we can close out a 7-zip. Now, we do want to go back to our Magic and Forge folder. We'll go to this PC, Windows C, Users, your username, Magic, and Forge as we can see that it's now basically installed. We have links or the application folder or application file for Forge, Forge Adventure, Forge Adventure in Java 8, and Forge in Java 8. So if you do have Java 8 installed, you're gonna to wanna to run these versions, but if you have any other version of Java installed, any newer version, I believe Java 11 or newer, you'll wanna run these versions. So the Forge application here, we can just double click and run and that starts Forge. So once Forge opens, we'll be able to see all the options that Forge has for us. For example, we can go right here to Constructed and we can start a new game right away as decks are pre-installed and we can already get to it. We can also do a booster draft, start a new booster draft game. We can do a sealed deck game, start the online multiplayer, do quest or puzzle modes, or even gauntlets and the game settings here. We can go to the deck editor and right away start creating decks, double clicking on cards and adding them. We can search for cards and all that stuff and filter out through here and create your deck. You can even import and do all that other stuff. We're gonna go ahead and close out of Forge. Now, we also include the Forge Adventure. Forge Adventure is the mobile backport. In the GUI desktop release, it is the mobile backport, uh, which is the Android version or the mobile version of Forge. This will give us the option of classic mode or adventure mode. Let's go to classic mode first. Classic mode is basically what you saw in the desktop version. You have constructed, booster draft, sealed deck draft, quest mode, puzzle mode. We have planar conquest and the gauntlet mode. You can load games for the, the quest mode and stuff like that. You also have the deck manager here. You can create a new deck similar to you do on the desktop UI. You can go to the settings and change settings in here. But if we hit the escape button, we can now go back to adventure. So if you opened up, opened it up and you went to straight to adventure, adventure mode is the new um, RPG type mode that we can go and start a new game and play the adventure mode here. You also can go back to classic and change settings here and all that stuff. So I'll leave you to look at that, but that's pretty much it. That's the installation and starting of Forge in both the, the mobile backport and the Forge, uh, the full desktop version. I'd like to also bring up one last thing. When you do start Forge, you'd like, you saw that uh, it didn't have any images for the cards. So we'll start Forge back up and I'll show that again. I'll show you an easy way to get. So let's go here, back to the deck editor. You'll see, we don't have card images here card images are not delivered with Forge. There's a couple of things you can do. 
first of all, we can go to Forge uh, Game Settings, Preferences, and is it Preferences? And you can scroll down here and let me find it. You can turn on automatically download missing card art. This will download the images as Forge needs it. Um, and that's recommended for no, most, most players. However, we can click here to the content downloader section. And then if you want cards, uh, the, low, the LQ card pictures, this is the default picture for all the cards, this will be every card that is named the same will have a single image, a single picture, no matter the set. Most sets do have different imagery. So if you want every image for each set, you'll want to go to the down L, download LQ set pictures. You don't need the HQ pick card pictures. This is only for the each card set, and it's not much different than the LQ right now. That they've been upgraded. The LQ set has been upgraded to where it's a lot better um, than it used to be. So you want to do the LQ set pictures if you want one one image for every set. Now, if you do that, it's going to take a lot of time. There is a very there's a limit in Forge for how often it downloads each card. So it does wait a second. Basically, I think it's a second or so for each card download. It will take a long time. I have a file server, download.ostergrim.net. You can go here and download the entire full set. I'm sorry. Yes, the, the entire full zip right here and download that. That will be the entire set of files for the entire thing with some of the newer content might be missing. You'll also want to go in here and click all the rest of the download items. Uh, for like the quest images and the achievement stuff. So you'll want to get that too. Um, but once you've done downloaded that, you do want to go to, where's the folders? Doesn't show you the folder here. Uh, oh, uh, open content directory. You'll go back to preferences, open the content directory. And this is where your, your images will be downloaded is in the forge cache. So you'll be at your username, your app data folder, local forge cache. So you'll want to extract that, this zip, the super LQ zip file to this cache folder in picks and cards. So you should just be able to extract that. I believe, I, I'm, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I believe you just extract that to the cards folder and then all of the all of your images will be there and then you can update you know any missing content from there using the content downloaders you can use download the set, lq set pictures and update you know what's missing from there so that's pretty much it that's the entire entire thing of forge you can get forge running pretty quickly and like i said i'll have all this uh in you know set out so that you can go back to whatever you need to for each section but if you like this, um, you might like my other content. You can check out my other content, uh, youtube.com slash ostergrim. And you can also check out um, you know, my Twitch, twitch.tv slash ostergrim. Come hang out in the chat. And um, But yeah, that's about it. Go check out what I do on YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time.